Hello guys and thank you for joining me. My name is Ojen and today I am bringing you a very interesting pen that I have found on my random searches uh, on Ali AliExpress. This is um, a bold action type uh, fountain pen, unbranded as well as well, most of the ADC fountain pens that I have uh, reviewed so far. This time, however, this pen is not made of titanium, it is made of stainless steel. I have to admit that I was a little on the fence and put it off for quite a while until I decided to pull the trigger on it. It wasn't the, it wasn't the cheapest pen out there, that's for sure, especially for a stainless steel pen. I paid around 88 Canadian dollars plus an additional 10 Canadian dollars for shipping. Um, I did have a little bit of buyer remorse after buying it, uh, but once I received it and hold it and uh, played uh, a little bit uh, with it, I had no regrets buying it. It came in a velvet-like pen sleeve that was inside a nice wood box. Um, and this was the sleeve that came with it and uh, well I already repurposed the, um, uh, the, the box uh, to hold some of my nibs and fibs. Um, I like this kind of boxes. This is, uh, these are the boxes that I usually do not throw away, I keep. Um, I actually wonder if this is um, uh, bamboo based on the grain that it has. Probably it is bamboo, so I guess in this case we'll make it a grass box, not a not a wood box. In the box uh, they also included um, a tiny other box uh, made out of cardboard with six Schneider uh, cartridges. If I remember correctly, it came with three black and three blue. Um, then this is the pen. Um, it has quite a nice weight while you're holding it in your hand. It feels cold to the touch and since my arms tend to be um, a little bit warmer, it does create a little bit of condensation by the time the pen actually uh, gets uh, warmed up a little bit. And um, its size is mostly uh, almost like a pocket fountain pen. Um, and if you're curious about the dimensions and weight, they are in the description. Going through the fountain pen, as you can see at the end, it has a loop. Uh, I assume it's either, its purpose is either for using it on a, putting the pen on a keychain or keychain line stuff or having it uh, around something that's secured to your bag or in your bag or I assume to keep it around your neck if that's what you want. Uh, to get into the pen you have to undo this. Um, there are a lot of threads so this is not a fountain pen that you would like to use uh, for quick notes and uh, the construction is fully stainless steel, no plastic inserts. And once you remove this you'll have to put it somewhere securely because well the pen doesn't actually post. And you will see that there is well, a big gaping hole with a nib inside of it. And to slide it um, out, you have to use this. And that's where the ball, uh, the action, the bolt action comes. You have to press, slide, and release. And this is the fountain pen. The nib that it comes with is a Schmidt. Um, in my case, uh, I do have an extra fine size. And uh, well, as any other Schmidt nib, they're, they're nice, simple. And uh, this one came in the silver version, not in the gold version, to match the pen, I guess. And it's actually fitting the pen quite nicely. It is a number five size nib. And yes, you can remove it if you so wish. 
Now, because of the size that he has, this pen is not actually meant to be used with uh, converters. You can only use cartridges. And in order to place the cartridge inside of it, you just twist the section and then you just insert the, the cartridge uh, I mean, in there. It only uses small cartridges. There's not really enough space to use a long cartridge. Hold on, I have a light in here. So not a lot of space in there, as you can see. So you can only have one small cartridge, no piggyback. And that's pretty much the pen. Uh, it's it's unique in its own design. There are two things that personally I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to fill them after a longer period. Now because of the sliding action and because the section is basically inside of the pen, there is a little bit of play between the section and the barrel. But as I hold it like this, I don't really find it annoying. It's just tactile wise I feel it move uh, I feel the clicks as you can probably hear them but it's not something that I don't think is gonna put me off I'll know for sure once I'm done with the drawing and the other concern that I have is um, while this action works okay is nothing wrong with it uh, but does does basically have an air gap between the the pen and the sleeve that the barrel slides into, like the, the outside of it. So it does ride on a kind of a air cushion. So this cap, I'm not sure if it um, seals anything uh, because it goes all the way there, but it doesn't actually butt the, the section because you can still move the pen a little bit in. And now in theory, the section meets the, the 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 cap end so there is some air gap in there and i'm not sure if this will um, create any issues with uh, drying ink i'll know for sure once i use it for a couple of weeks fortunately by the time the video will be released i will know for sure if uh, then the ink can hold up or not and I will update uh, a comment in the description and I'll stick it basically the nib kind of sits like this inside the, that cap it doesn't actually sit like this to sort of create some sort of a seal it's a little bit off and uh, maybe if the manufacturer of this pen hears me out um, when decided how long you make this maybe either try and make the slit shorter by a little bit so this way the section meets the cap or you increase the side of the lip that goes inside of it by that much or something like that so you actually butts the, the section nicely um, Probably the last part is much easier to do than the last, than the first mention with the slit. Uh, or at least add some rubber end that could actually meet the section and create some, side of, uh, some type of a seal to, uh, to, well, to seal the nib and not have it uh, dry out. Other than that, I think the pen will be okay. I don't think there will be any issues with it. Anyway, with that said, let's try and ink it up and then go through a small rating sample. Now to ink it up, like I mentioned, um, it's fairly simple. All you need is one of these. And what I have in here, it's a Schneider cartridge, which is like an international standard as far as I remember. It came with the pen. It's black. I believe I used one of these in the past in one of uh, the other EDC fountain pens that I had. Yeah, it's very simple. Just remove the section, right? Grab your cartridge, push it if you can.
Uh, I hate using cartridges. I think it's in. I hope it's in. It's secure there. And then give it a little bit of time and try it out. So I'll put it aside and I'll grab some paper and we'll go through some writing sample. The good thing about it is that you can actually close it and stack it like this, nip down on a safe surface so it doesn't me mess up the, the surface in case it, uh, it drips and just put it aside. All right, then going through a small writing sample. Let's see how it's going to write. Okay, ink seems to flow. Nib um, seems to be okay. He feels like he might need a little bit of smoothing out. He almost feels like a architect nib, <laughs> which is really odd. Uh, the sidelines are thinner and uh, I mean horizontal lines are thinner and the vertical lines are wetter and and um, thicker. I will we'll play around with the nib a little bit after I'm done with the, with the writing sample. Okay, so the pen feels nice. I do think I'm gonna make a little bit of work on this nib. It feels a little bit odd, which is interesting. This is my first Schmidt nib that I don't like it that much. It has a weird inconsistency to it. Maybe it needs cleaning between times and maybe just a little bit of smoothing. I will do that before I'm actually going to do the drawing. For today's drawing, I uh, was planning to do something very simple. Uh, I'm going to be doing a flower, not really inspired from one of my pictures. This is something that I've seen online. I don't want to post the picture because it was a Google search when I uh, found the, uh, the this picture and I can't find the actual uh, source so i can't give the credit and uh, such i don't want to get in trouble <laughs> but what i really liked about the, uh, the 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 actual flower which i have no idea what it is is that it had uh, ribs on the petals well ribs like looking lines and uh, it almost looked like it was um, contoured uh, hashed and that's what i'm gonna try and sort of do it's like and then just really dark around, uh, in the center and uh, around the flower. And I wanted to keep it simple because I don't remember how well this uh, ink in the um, cartridge performs. So hopefully I'm not going to get any kind of weird, um, uh, what do you call it, uh, stripes. Anywho, I'll get into it and we'll see what's going to happen again, like usual. I have no idea how it's going to look like, but we're going to find out together. And I'll let you know what I found annoying or not as I'm going through. All right, let's get to it. Using this bolt action style fountain pen turned out to be quite fun, to be honest. The uh, only thing that truly really kind of annoyed me was the nib. To my surprise, the nib was misaligned and it needed a little bit of smoothing to get it uh, writing properly. The tip of the nib seems to still have a small defect on it and will require a little bit more work uh, whenever I get the time to do it. But for this drawing, uh, 
I managed to get it working to an acceptable level. If I uh, pressed a little bit too hard on the nib, you would actually dig into the paper and get fibers between the tines. Not sure if the nib was a factory defect or was damaged during the assembly by whoever peeled this pen. All I know is that for me this is my first issue I have ever had with a Schmidt nib. On the other hand, I am happy to report for the time being that the nib so far had no issues with drying out. I am recording this voiceover one day after I did the drawing and the pen was sitting on my desk unused and uh, capped. Next test is to leave it for another week without touching it and see if the ink eventually uh, evaporates or if the nib gets dry. If there are any issues, I will stick your comment in the comment section. If you see none, then there were no issues with drying out. Other than the nib, I had absolutely no issues with the pen. For me and how I was holding the pen, there were no issues with a step up from the section uh, to the barrel, no sharp edges that I could uh, feel. And at the same time, um, I did not find the section that slippery. I could see how for some people might be a little bit inconvenient, but personally I managed to make it work and I actually even forgot about, uh, about it uh, while I was drawing. Um, I do wish though that this pen would be offered in a um, matte version. I am actually thinking to uh, disassemble the pen and then sand the surface of the pen to a matte finish with some 4000 or, or 8000 grit might be a good idea for another workbench video if uh, anyone is interested. Uh, making the surface matte uh, might also help more with the grip on the pen. So in summary, what I like and what I do not like or you might not like on this pen. Um, what I like. Um, I like that uh, the stainless steel construction seems to be um, solid and uh, I find no sharp edges on the pen and um, I do like the feel of the pen overall. The threads were good, uh, they were working well, there were no issues with um, cross threading or something not feeling smooth, I, I like that. Um, I was excited about the number 5 Schmidt nib unit, I don't know what happened to it. Another thing that I liked, and maybe it's a little bit of a gimmick, I kind of like the bolt um, action. I mean, it's nothing new about it, you have the other pens like uh, Mont Blanc or Hero where you twist the end cap to actually uh, move the nib out of the section or out of the barrel. But this kind of has its own uh, little flavor that I like. And uh, I guess there's uh, also the idea that this is a true EDC fountain pen. It's a very sturdy build and uh, it could definitely take a few hits if, you, if by any chance that happens. What I don't really like about it that much is that one, and I, f I find it the most annoying, that unfortunately it's using cartridges. I mean, I understand because of the size you don't really have much of an option, but I wish there will be a better solution for it. I don't know what, but personally I don't, I'm not too crazy about cartridges. Um, what else? Um, well, I was concerned about the um, drying out uh, ink and uh, the fact that maybe the nib is not perfectly sealed but so far seems to work and um, I'm rooting for it basically hopefully it won't be an issue in the long run and the other thing that you might find a little bit annoying is that um, there's a little bit of play between the section and the barrel or the sleeve where the pen slides into I was concerned about that, but at no point I remember being annoyed by it in any way. As actually, as I was doing the drawing, I was just using it normally without a problem. And I guess the last thing that uh, you might find annoying is that the pen 
uh, first of all does not post if you really need a post second of all does not have a clip and the last thing that you might find annoying it's probably that it takes quite a few turns to remove the cap from the from the pen i did not count how many times uh, i turned that but it definitely uh, passes that uh, fine line of uh, what's acceptable for removing a cap so this pen is definitely not suited for quick notes that you do on the fly all the time this is something that you set up for it and you use it and you enjoy it and that's it and with that said i uh, i don't really have much else to say about the pen if you do have other questions do leave them in the comment section below and i will definitely try and um, answer them as best as i can and um, i guess i'll see you guys next time i wish you um, a, a nice day and a wonderful night wherever you are and uh, wish you all the best take care bye